this talk, though, I'm gonna give you my muggle name. <laughs> So yes, welcome. Uh, my name is Dr. Timory, and I'm going to be talking to you about the EBHGA and how financial services are squeezing sex workers. Uh, in order to make this very complicated and drive up slightly more uh, acceptable to you, uh, every slide will feature a character from Schoolhouse Rock. <laughs> What is it? It is a bill that was introduced in April of 2017 by, get this, Senators Elizabeth Warren and Marco Rubio. Uh, yeah, that's a real thing. And what it purports to do is add the Secretary of the Treasury to an existing task force on human trafficking, and then also tell banks that when they see certain cash flow patterns to report it to the government if they think it's related to human trafficking. So that's the aim of it. However, there's a really important thing we need to talk about. And that is that sex trafficking is not the same thing as sex work. So because it is illegal to do many forms of sex work, the law says that they're the same thing. And you can, in fact, and people are, in fact, arrested, tried, and jailed for trafficking themselves. However, this is really important that we have this distinction because what sex work actually is is a whole panoply of things. And it is anything where there's a sexual service in exchange for goods or services or something else. And while many people end up in this uh, industry because they don't have any options, some people choose to be in there. However, there's a whole industry of saviors who are going to come rescue people from sex work who conflates the same things. They consider it all to be the same. They don't believe anybody could choose to do this. I don't want to do this. Ergo, nobody must want to do this. Uh, they are missing the fact that all labor requires cognitive, physical or emotional labor in exchange for money. But for some reason, we've decided that you're not allowed to sell fucking. Uh, but these things aren't actually the same. So anyway, going back to the EBH date, what does it actually do? So if I'm a bank and I see some specific transactions going through, I'm gonna tell the government about it because we all agree trafficking is bad, right? Yeah, because consent matters. But the thing is, is maybe it won't just do that. And there are a lot of people that are worried that that's not just what it'll do. Uh, in fact, the Best Practices Policy Project, which is a national organization, and Project Safe, which is a local organization, are very concerned that it's going to do a lot more than that. And they have reason to be concerned about that because of existing things that have indicated uh, that the world is, is uh, not looking out for sex workers. Like, for instance, uh, we're a little bit worried that it, in fact, could allow people to deny banking access to sex workers or even seize their funds. Well, why would we think that that's likely to happen? Maybe because shit like that is happening. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter what the actual bill says because FOSTA SESTA, which were anti-trafficking bills, actually made it much more dangerous and difficult to be a sex worker in addition to being one of the largest infringements on free speech in the history of the law. So even though it is meant to do a good thing, it's actually had all these deleterious effects. So FOSTA SESTA has made it far more dangerous to be a sex worker and, and far harder, which is why there's a lot more advocacy for sex worker rights right now, even though these bills weren't originally uh, any way related. Anytime there's a law about prostitution, about sex work, it almost always is punitive. And in the ancient days, like this <laughs> character, I guess, uh, they, would, they could beat, they could mutilate someone for doing sex work. Now we just put them in jail and make it impossible to go to another job. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we, we don't super care uh, about a lot of folks, including people in legal professions. Operation Chokehold is an example of a project that was targeting legal uh, industries, gun manufacturers, payday lenders. All these things are actually totally legal. And what banks have been doing, uh, possibly as a result, is closing accounts of people who work in porn, denying them banking services outright. and. They don't have to give any particular reason for it. So a lot of porn stars have taken to social media to complain about their lack of access to banking and the fact that they were given no recourse and they have no way to like buy a house or pay their rent because they don't have a bank account. It's a pretty critical uh, way of being a part of society. So we're worried about this also because PayPal and Venmo, if what you do that gets your money in your account, if they think it's related to adult activities, they can seize all your money. And they're not a bank, so you don't have any recourse. That's already happening. Cam girls, porn performers, these are legal industries and they're having their money stolen. And for this reason, we're concerned. And for another reason, what are the things 
that banks are going to tip off the government about. Some of them are very obviously trafficking, but other ones include living outside of your means, having large deposits that aren't explainable by your occupation. Can you imagine who might also be affected by that? Me. Marginalized people! Anybody who works with cash, somebody who had their grandma die, whatever. Uh, it is likely to pass. Uh, when it went through the House, only two people voted against it, so it's probably going to pass the Senate as well. And the reason that you should care about this is not only because you should care about sex workers, but let's just say you don't. What happens to sex workers first comes to everybody else next. First they'll come for sex workers, then they'll come for you. So for that reason alone, you should care. So even if the aim is very pro-social and positive, and we're all obviously anti-trafficking, we need to be paying much more attention to this and listen to sex workers. Yeah. There's an article in the Philly Weekly about this right now if you want to read it. <laughs>